yes. Oh. Dr. Isaac Yankum DDS. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's what it was. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Uh, well. Are you here for uh, Word Game Club? Word, Word Game, Game Club! Club. This is a, a little big thumbs secret society where we've built ourselves a tiny little secret clubhouse where we're gonna hide away from our parents and play our absolute favorite word games. Today's wonderfully wordy game is fiction. Published by All Play and designed by Peter Hayward. This is a game, it's described as being inspired by Wordle, which is uh, like a browser based game or you're trying to guess a five letter word and you have a, a set number of guesses to get it done except this game fiction expands that into being something that is that can be done with two players or it can be done with as many as what maybe 10. In this game one player is going to have the role of the librarian <laughs> and we'll make sure to put the name of the role on the screen so you can truly appreciate how absurd that name is. It truly is absurd. Uh, everyone else in this game is going to be forming a team of guessers and their job is to decode the librarian's secret word before they run out of either time or guesses. Let's do a quick overview of this game and then we'll drop our verdict on whether or not we think the game will make it up the rickety ladder into our secret word game clubhouse. <laughs> The librarian has a stack of cards with excerpts from eight classic books, and they've got to choose one card, and on that card they need to choose a single five-letter word as their secret code word. During your first play of the game, the librarian will only want to choose words that are highlighted in yellow. But once everyone is feeling comfortable and confident, they can venture into the red words for a truly tricky challenge. The librarian gives the team of guessers one letter that's part of the word uh, as a bit of a head start. Not where it fits in the word, just one letter that is part of that word. The guessers now have two 10 minute periods to figure out what the word is. And in each period, they have five guesses they can use. Each guess goes onto a handy guess board. And when the guess is written, it's handed over to the librarian and the timer is paused. Now the librarian carefully confirms which letters are in the correct places and which ones are not in the word at all. And which ones are in the word, but in the wrong spot. They'll do this with these little coins, which slot into the guess boards. But the twist comes in that the librarian must deliver one clue that is untrue. A literal lie in the response they deliver back to the guessing players. But the team of guessers has a not so secret weapon that they can use against the librarian in the form of three fact or fiction token. These can be played in the game to force the librarian to, to truthfully tell whether a particular letter in the word is is correctly identified as as being as being correct or incorrect or what have you. And this is the basic flow of the game. 10 total guesses in those two time periods. That's right. And the game, uh, the things will continue this way, going back and forth between the guessing and the deceiving until uh, what the game ends in one of the following ways. Uh, if that time runs out, if those two 10 minute time periods runs out, then the librarian wins the game. If the players use up all 10 of their guesses and they haven't figured out the word, again, the librarian wins the game. But if, if they manage to figure it out, if the team of guessers figures this out in those 10 guesses and the time has not run out, then the team of guessers has successfully thwarted the librarian. For those seeking an extra challenge, try the hard difficulty, featuring options like reduced fact and fiction tokens, a shorter timer, and the inclusion of red words with duplicate letters. Okay, Milo. Fiction, what's your favorite thing about the game? I'm going to say the fact that uh, this is a word game that you can play with a large group of people and it's an asymmetric game. The two different roles, whether you're a guesser or the librarian, are just so different and I've never seen that in a word game before. And for myself, it is the, the just it's the entire presentation of this game that really jumps out as me as, as something special. Uh, you mentioned before we hit record today about how those cards, the, the way they've, they've cut out clips of the novels as part of the game being a really uh, tremendous addition. I, I love that as well, but I also love just how the little, the coins like fit into, 
the the the, the word guessing boxes. Uh, of course, it's an all play game, so there's all sorts of dry erase markers in this. There's some sort of dry erase mafia over <laughs> over at all play. Um, but uh, but I, I and on top of the gameplay, just the presentation as a whole is just super fantastic. So JP, what do you think of fiction in terms of being a kid friendly game? It's a great great question. Uh, I'm going to fully admit that I haven't played fiction with my kids, uh, but like hypothetically speaking, uh, I think that fiction is a game like at least on the team of guessers. I think maybe a child like eight years and older, like my probably my older daughter could could jump in to be on a team of guessers. But like the trickiest part of the game is to be that librarian, to keep track of your lies, making sure that you're you're only fibbing on one of, of the responses when you hand it back to the players. Uh, I think maybe a younger player who's played this a whole bunch could jump into that role eventually. The box says it's for ages 10 plus, so that's that's probably pretty accurate. Although I think someone who's like really adept with with the gaming experiences probably could, could jump in a little bit younger. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think as the guessing team, I think that it would be a lot of fun for someone who's a strong reader to, to get in on on this kind of deduction thing. So it definitely has potential as a great game for families and younger players. Okay, so we've talked about what we love about it. We've talked about how uh, appropriate it is for kids. The final question, and the most important one, is whether fiction is going to make the trip with us up that rickety ladder into the word game clubhouse. What do you think? For me, it's an immediate yes. No hesitations. Yes, all the way. Fiction is great, and it is coming up that ladder with me. Absolutely. Not not only the fact that it's just it's such a tiny box that it's not going to have any trouble going with us up up the ladder. It's just a fantastic game. It can handle so many players. You can have giant groups playing this game. Just a just a great addition to to the the great landscape of word games out there. Thanks so much for watching and joining us on our first episode of this word game club and if you want to see more content that we create consider hitting that subscribe button and following us along on our silly little journeys together and if you've played fiction and you have experiences to share let us know in the comments of this video we'd love to to hear from you and uh and yeah thank you so much for joining us up here in the word game club word game club, word game club.